So in this video, I'm going to try to uh, add my domain to my Office 365 subscription. Uh, let's see if I first let's let's. Uh, Let's go with Chrome or Firefox. Alright, so don't uh, Firefox is installed. Let's go and go to my portal on I want you to try Office 365 in a different browser than um, admin at I um, So I wanted to see if it, another browser faster, the lag is only because, uh, is it related to the virtual machine or is it related to that uh, uh, Edge browser? Because over here it's working very good. <coughs> so like, go to admin and I'm going to give it my, now to add a, <coughs> these are some of the cards I can add cards from here message center service Azure active user report domains and all that I can add the domain and it should pop up somewhere down right there all right so I can move it around I'm gonna put training and guide down there so we don't I can add a domain from here or I can go to um, show all setup probably custom domain setup domains right there in settings so I can use it from the card on the uh, first thing on the home screen or from here so I'm gonna go with the uh, enter a domain you own so it's gonna ask me that a uh, domain that I own I own this domain I got this one so <coughs> so basically what it's saying is uh, add these records and this is how they know that uh, you actually own the domain so I used to do that uh, back in the day so they want um, the NS host so yeah I, I did all of them you have to go log into their domains and add the records and <clears throat> then what you, once you click verify this site sends out to a board the to go and look for this information and if they find it they come back and tell this sorry that yeah it's been verified and that's how this thing knows <clears throat> so this is the step-by-step -step instruction that we can follow I wish there was an easier way like uh, you give access to um, Microsoft and yep so basically I have to log in and do that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video here um, <clears throat> but that's how you add domain whatever you own you have to go and add this uh, these values so once I'm done with the logging in I'm gonna show you how you do that I'm gonna pause the video here 
or let's at least go to Google domain <coughs> yep it should automatically log me in I am in so the step by instruction DNS records uh, you have a person to do so sign in until you'll on my domain page in the left you select DNS that's this one going for the drop down list <coughs> all right so what it's saying is <coughs> custom resource record section all right so let's go and custom resource section restricted host synthetic custom resource record so all the way at the bottom uh, is the one that we need <coughs> so first one is type if I could show you that um, let me see if I can no I can't so nope <coughs> so you have to uh, <laughs> live with that txt that's the record one hour yes and for the text I have to just copy paste this one I can there's a field that I can enter I entered it and all I'm gonna do is add it's being added you see it's added <coughs> wait for a few minutes before you can do so that the record you just created and can update across the internet so it's asking me wait a few minutes <coughs> so how about so so how about we go but uh, rather than to go do this so <clears throat> go with these steps but uh, it's saying that take about 50 minutes for the DNS changes to take effect throughout the internet so basically there are different servers these domain name servers they update each other like you make uh, changes on one it sends out signals to all of the others that hey I'm getting this update uh, so you should do the same <coughs> So add and max record again the main page in the domain section could configure DNS <coughs> so that would be name server registered host synthetic custom just like configure DNS I think this should be it right In the synthetic record section in the G Suite area, select delete. Okay, synthetic is this one. Basically, uh, there's nothing. Temporary direct, do not forward path. So they want me to delete something here. It's not there. So <coughs> in the synthetic G Suite. So I never signed for G Suite. So it's not there. Uh, they offered, but I didn't sign up so all right custom resource record that's again this one at mx so i have to change this one to mx <coughs> at 1h and the value must end with the period so the period is a must i did not copy it but i'm putting in there <clears throat> I'm gonna click add and it is added so again it's gonna tell me to wait right add it in the MX record protection dot outlook dot com add it okay okay this needs to be dealt with
the mail dot protection okay I'm gonna go with the edit <coughs> there's nothing I'm gonna leave it like that save so there is only one basically what they saying is that if there is any other thing you should delete it like other values and leave the first one intact <coughs> so there is nothing left yes add the five C name records that are required for office 365 custom resource record so we have to one two three four five we have to add these ones in there again with the custom uh, uh, resource record but this time we're not gonna leave it at that we're gonna give it auto discover <clears throat> I hope I'm spelling it right auto discover type it's the type is C name one hour Add this one while it's being added go with the next one that is sip c name <coughs> we can all then discover again it's a c name one hour So if you go with GoDaddy, it's just one click. You verify it through them, but uh, I think Microsoft and Google they are not giving access to each other. So that's why you have to manually enter it, <coughs> like I'm doing. But I've seen like uh, with GoDaddy, it's just one click uh, uh, authorization and then verification, and you are in. But uh, not in this case. <coughs> Again, C name and the main name is so I the reason that I'm so good at it is that I did all this <coughs> about 10 years ago when I used to blog so I will be editing all these records all the time in GoDaddy so <coughs> I kind of had an idea Add the phone number okay add a TX record for SPF to help prevent email spam okay so since I do not have an SPF record I'm gonna go with this one select add it and the customer on TXE record row select added so this one that they already gave us uh, right here we're gonna click added did it say the first TXE <coughs> it was all okay so I put remember see I put XXXX and then back there down there I saw something and you know how do I find this so I was going blindly <clears throat> this is an example use your specific destination or points to address value here for the table in office how do I find this oh. <coughs> domain page go to the setting domain domains page okay so this one is my record copy and I'm gonna add it here <coughs> and I'm in I am saving it so TX name all right that's good to know that I caught it otherwise we'll be wasted 15 minutes only to find out that it's airing out and then you know <coughs> I hope I did not do any other mistakes <coughs> so 
so it's a lot of work so txu record for spf okay <clears throat> so we're gonna select add it add so you can you cannot see this uh, right hand side of my screen but it's exactly the same in this this here I click this button so following table so I am adding this one I'm gonna click save it's being saved I did add the two SRV records that are required for office 365 again configure in custom records resource records that's this one and this one okay SRV the type is SRV and that's the value there <coughs> one hour again added okay and the next one is this oh shoot I think I made a mistake, right? Include 443 or what did I do? 15 or yeah, I uh, deleted. No, I didn't. So basically, I had to use this one. I used the bottom one. <coughs> All right, so this one is saved now i'm gonna go with this one and it's not getting my okay i'm gonna put that manually at the enter dot period whatever and this one is another srv <coughs> and so we cannot use the SRV2 records under the same one. Or should I? I So it's saying that it takes 15 minutes for the DNS record to take effect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here. <coughs> I'm going to go watch a TV program for 15 minutes and then I will come back to this one and we'll continue. So it's 37, 42, 52. See you around 15 minutes. All right, so I'm back. Let's hope that uh, um, I added everything the way it was supposed to be. and i did not uh, put uh, the wrong values click verify it's verifying domain set up your online services it got verified we are on to this one that is set up my online service for me i'll manage my own dns records so from this point <laughs> i don't want to add any more dns entries if i can save it so i'm gonna go with the next uh, it's uh, it gonna set everything automatically for me like exchange mobile devices and everything and
I'm gonna with, go with this one. So basically either I could add it back here, but I'm gonna have the system go and fetch everything from the uh, my domains uh, DNS. Alright, so one record was discovered and imported. We can click on next and we for the most part it should be good. I think I've fallen out of uh, the capture area. All right, so I'm going to save this one as an name server so yeah i want to do that right now i'm gonna again go with the <coughs> oh i we already did right we did this one change your name server record so since we already did this part the txt part and ms home and all that so i'm not gonna go with that one but i'm gonna go with this uh this one the domain uh, name servers record so Okay. All right. So let's go with the. So basically, it's talking about these one. Uh, these are Google domains. So we're gonna go with the custom one. For custom ones, all we have to do is just add the uh, everything else. So we're gonna add uh, these ones one by one. Save. At least two name servers are required. Oh, okay. There's a uh, add button on the side that we can use to add two uh, more. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting adding them. So, oops, the final one. So now I'm done <coughs> for this part. For name servers, I got this one add section that yeah so that was the add section that i did i added all four of them note your name service record update may take up to several hours to appear across the internet to main system so basically i've uh, what they're saying is that uh, it's not a 15 minutes wait it's uh, much uh, bigger than that one so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just have it verify uh, and go So it errored out. So we can uh, verify it. We're gonna give it a like a. Let's give it a, another fifteen minutes. Uh, but it did say that it can take um, several hours. <coughs> For this purpose, um, um, let's wait uh, 15 minutes. Uh, 
because I already added everything the way it's supposed to be if you can see and as for dot BDM and there's no uh, period at the end so I missed this one yep <clears throat> I read everything I'm gonna give it a good 15 minutes I'm gonna pause the video here see you in a bit so it's been like good 20 minutes let's uh, give it another shot uh, hopefully it works if not then we know what we'll do it uh, several hours before it can be done so let's try this verify one more time Okay, so this is not helping. It needs to be a um, few hours. So, where was the download? Download just right there. Open the folder. I have a dot org. Let's see what values needs to be. Like, there are four. Okay, All right. So there are only four. Good. We did that. So save and close. We can save and close this. So basically, <coughs> it says that uh, it has been added, but it's incomplete setup. So what I'm going to do is we have to wait a few hours. Uh, it's midnight here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it here just like this and hopefully uh, in morning when we give it a sh shot again it will be uh, better unless I made a mistake that I copy pasted everything minus four three two one so it should be good all right so let's uh, give it the few hours needed I know it's it's a long thing but <laughs> hopefully with the video uh, uh, for the person that is gonna learn through this video uh, it will be beneficial and they know that uh, what to expect when they are doing it and all right so let's pause the video see you in the morning <laughs> 